Hey guys, Rob Samples here. So, um, I'm on my way to photograph some football, and I thought I'd do another one of these um, kind of almost documentary type videos and show you guys some of what goes into photographing some football. Uh, it's actually only last night that I did the basketball one of these videos, but it'll probably be a week or so apart on the blog that you actually see them. But yeah, that was last night. So, if I look a little bit tired, um, that that's why I, I had a busy week. Uh, all week working in my, my other job, my my, um, my week full-time job. So uh, then the basketball last night, uh, and then I edited some pictures up quite late and up this morning, so I'm feeling pretty tired. So I say that, it's not it's not early, it's, uh, it's nearly 11 o'clock, um, but obviously I've been up for a little while. So a bit tired out, but it's, um, it's all good. So on the way to the game now, um, the game actually kicks off at 12. Today I am doing Premier League under 18s, uh, Fulham at home to Aston Villa. The game is at Fulham's training ground, which is in Motspur Park. Um, so I'm on my way to there now. Uh, should actually should be there in just um, in just a couple of minutes. So not too long. Uh, if, if anyone out there who knows football is thinking, well, Fulham's not in the Premier League, yeah, you're right, the first team's not, they're in the Championship now. But um, the way it works, the academy is still in the Premier League. So Fulham under-18s and, and actually the under-21s as well, uh, who I cover also, are, are still in the Premier League for the academy team. So so that's, that's what's on today. So yeah, I'll record a little bit of the game. I'll record a bit of the actual footage of me shooting. Um, the setup and stuff I'll probably do. And we'll go from there. I, I don't get to the game too early for these. I'm probably going to be there like 50 minutes before kickoff, something like that. Uh, with these academy games, it's much easier to set up. I basically have all the stuff in the boot of the car and I get the bits out and I, um, I set up uh, and just kind of walk in. So if I was going to a game like in a stadium, like a, a first team game, something like that, I'd get there quite a lot earlier just so I can set up. Sometimes there's like a media room where I go and I set up my laptop and lock it and all, all that kind of stuff. But there's none of that for this. It's literally just gear out the boot of the car, walk in there, you know, shoot the game pretty much. I'll allow a bit of time if I want to set up a camera behind the goal, something like that. I might not do that today because it looks a bit misty and I'm just a bit worried that the work that goes into setting up those remotes versus the images that I will get back with a, a pure white sky with this misty sky, I'm, I'm not sure it's going to be worth my while. So I might just concentrate on, on getting the footage from myself and, and having two bodies on me today. But we'll see how we go. So yeah, um, I'll record some of that, guys, so you guys can see how that works. Um, and I hope it's interesting. All right. Okay, guys. So I thought I'd do some commentary through this section of the video, and in fact, for most of the video, really. Um, so I can just kind of tell you guys what I'm doing, I suppose, rather than it you being a case of you just trying to watch and work out what's going on. Uh, although this bit you probably could work out what's going on. I'm getting my gear together. Uh, fairly self-explanatory. Get my two cameras together. That's my 7D. The other one that I screwed the monopod into is my 7D2, and that's my Sigma 100-300, the big lens. That's my other bag with my waterproofs and stuff in it. Uh, I think I get my I think that's my yeah, it's my accreditation just there gone down. It's so important to have that. I've forgotten it before and it's it's a pain. The the guys mostly know who I am, but they've got to do their job, so it's hard to get in if you haven't got all the right accreditation just on you straight away. That bag will come in with me, the other the, the um photography one with the waterproofs and stuff in it. That's my vest, I put that on now so I can just walk straight in and get into the place I want to, like beyond the crowd line rather than um, being too stuck, so I get my high-vis vest on. Sometimes I wear that yellow one, sometimes I wear a blue one, I've got a couple of them, it, it depends really. That yellow one's a bit more waterproof and I thought there was a chance it was going to rain a bit today, so I say today, this is uh, Saturday morning in this game. So, uh, got my, my big camera there, my big lens. I've just moved this on to, I'm putting the camera onto the top of the horseshoe here so you guys can kind of see where I go. I didn't want to wear it on top of my head. I thought perhaps I might look a bit of an idiot, so I'll put it in the top of the horseshoe and then I'm just going to carry it over my shoulder so you guys can see where we go. So yeah, we're parked on the road um, outside here. I tend to park on the road for these games because it's easier than going in because uh, the game is, you're about to see, is literally like 30 yards down the road here in the um, in the field and the training ground. So off we go. I apologise for the picture quality of this video, guys. Um, it's a real cheap little camera that I'm using for this. Uh, I just bought it on the cheap. Uh, I thought it was probably the way to go. I saved my money for the photography gear, which makes sense, seeing as I am a photographer and not a videographer. I thought it perhaps would be the way to go. So here we go. This is the, the training ground here. Uh, the game I'm shooting is the game over there that we're looking at now, and that's another game I was just checking out. I think it's the under-16s over there on the left. This is the game I'm doing. 
so I'm just going to set up my spot. Uh, I'm going to go here. This tends to be my preferred location, especially down this end of the field. Uh, you get quite good background. So generally speaking, if I'm shooting across the pitch, my backgrounds are like the um, subs benches and the managers and stuff like that, which I quite like. It's hard in these training ground games to get a decent background. Otherwise, you get backgrounds with like houses and stuff in the background, which I do sometimes still get. It's unavoidable, but still. So I'm just sitting up my stuff here. It's my bag. I'm going to put the waterproof cover on it so I can stick it face down. The grass was pretty wet. It had been raining the night before. So I've got my two cameras. I've got my second camera there on that like sling strap so I can pull it up real quick when I'm shooting. And then the first camera is obviously sitting right here in front of us on the monopod, which we're about to grab. That's my stall, and that's where I'm going to go. So I'm on the end line. Now, um... Obviously, all different benefits for different shooting positions, I suppose, with the football. I, generally speaking, in the first half, always choose this point here. I'm there to shoot Fulham, obviously, so although I do tend to get a couple of snaps of the other team as well, primarily I'm there just to shoot Fulham, so I... Uh, I'm only shooting the one team, so I will swap ends at half time, which I think you'll see on the video. We we wore down the other end because I I want to get the maximum both teams. In the second half, I probably will actually sit um like bang opposite the other end of the pitch from where I am, because right now obviously I'm getting the guys coming down the um the right wing, and then if I go sitting on the other end of here, it means in the second half I'm getting the guys coming down the left wing. Sometimes I'll vary that. Sometimes I'll stay in this point, this point for a little bit longer uh, into the second half so I can get some pictures of the keeper and the defenders and stuff like that. Sometimes I'll go a little bit up the sideline, just over there to our left, uh, so I can focus on the defenders and things like that. But... Uh, I tend to, you know, tend to pick a uh, pick a point and stick with it. Some guys I know will say, "Oh, well, games like that, it's great because you can move around." But I don't tend to. I just tend to stay in one spot, uh, primarily because I think it's better and it gives me more chance. It's one less thing to think about. Pick a spot, stick with it, and concentrate on taking the photos rather than worrying too much about the angles and where I'm sitting and all this kind of stuff. The one advantage I do have with this is that if there's a penalty, I can grab my stuff, I can run down the um, the end of that green thing there so I'm a bit more in behind the goal. I get there so that I'm sitting still before the guy steps up to take the penalty because otherwise I'm conscious of the um, distraction that I could cause and that's not fair. So then I'll just plonk myself in there, sit real still, and I can get a slightly better shot of it. So just, <laughs> just playing with my phone. You know what I think I'm doing there? I'm actually emailing the guy who I'm due to send the pictures to um, after the game. Because we notoriously get Wi-Fi issues in the, the cafe thing they've got here at the ground. So I moved here. I thought I'd just give you guys a slightly better angle. You can see what I'm doing a bit better. So I've got my two cameras. That's my 7D. It's actually quite a wide lens I've gone with this time. I thought I'd try my 1835. Uh, quite wide for football, but I find, especially when the guys actually right now I'm using it, when they come right down close to me on the on the end line here, it just gives me a bit more of a chance to get them into, into the shot. And I also wanted to get some wider shots of the corners, which I think I'm doing right now. So, yeah, I've got it. You can see I've got it on the sling strap, so I can pull it out quite quick. Oh, I'm checking you guys out. Uh, not much going on. That's the trouble sometimes when you're right down one end. Is sometimes when it's down the far end, there's not that much to do. Uh, I do tend to try and get some shots of the uh, the keeper. Um, obviously, the keeper for the team I'm shooting is down in that far end goal, so I tried to get right now. I think I'm doing it. I tend to get shots of him like making saves or perhaps coming out to catch corners or crosses and things like that, which which works out quite well. So yeah. Um, so, with with this kind of game, I mean, this is an under-21s Premier League game, so the, the action moves quite quick, and obviously I am there to get photos of the team. Now, two different reasons, really. A, because they want photos for match reports, and B, to get some stock photos of the players um, going forwards. It means that they can, you know, use them for whatever they want to do. Articles on the website and various other little bits as well, which they use them for. So I uh, I do tend to go through and cut down some of the images on the back of the camera. So every now and again, you'll see me looking on the back of the camera. Uh, or you'll see me looking on the back of my, my other camera there. The majority of the images with this game, probably I would go as far as saying maybe two thirds of them are going to be on the the 7D2, which is the camera I've got on the monopod with the Sigma 100-300 f4. The f4 works fine in daylight like this. It was actually quite a nice day. You can see a bit of blue sky there, which is good, and it tends to work. It tends to work all right, so I don't have too much of an issue. 
when I'm shooting outdoors with the f4 lens sometimes I do games under floodlights and I still do use that lens and that can be a bit more tricky then I'm pretty much restricted to the 72 because the 70 isn't so good if you have to start really bumping up the ISO level so I go with the 72 I can comfortably shoot that up to like um 6400 even 8000 if I have to and that works out okay so I think this game is coming up to half time fairly soon. No, maybe uh, no, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, and you guys will see me um, walk down the other end, and I'll show you my position down there in a minute as well. So yeah, so I will go through, and as you'll see, I, I do every now and again. I'm looking at the back of the camera, although right now I'm not. I'm looking at something over there. I don't know. But every now and again, I'm looking at the back of the camera and I'm cutting down some images. Now, I do that because at the end of the game, I have to get some images uh, sent to them for the match reports real quick, like within within a very short time of the game finishing. So I do it so that I can go through and just ingest a few images. Now, what I do, I don't tend to delete too many with this. I just go through and I lock the images that I really want. I lock them on the back of the camera. And then I, uh, when I plug them into my laptop, I can get those locked images automatically ingested, uh, actually with an app which I use, which I'll, I will talk to you guys about at some point on my blog. And it just makes it quicker just to get the selection I want. So here we go. I've grabbed up my gear. We're walking down the other end. Quite a good crowd for these under 21 games, which is nice actually. You can see them off here to my left. It's not a huge amount, but most of them have walked to the other side to go watch the under 16s game because that was still going. But this whole sideline is normally full with the crowd, which is really great to see, to be honest, for the, the academy games and the junior games. It's nice. So I'm walking down the other end. As I said, I'm pretty much going to go bang opposite where I was. So I'm just going to set up right around here somewhere. The idea being, like I said, so now I can get the guys who are coming down the left wing, and that uh, makes it a little bit easier. Here we go. Okay. So, uh, this is me sat like in the uh, the cafe thing, just kind of off the side of the of the training ground pitches there, and I'm going through and editing some images. Now, what I've done is I've got um, a selection of images, which are the ones I locked on the back of the camera, which I've imported into uh, onto my laptop and then into Lightroom, and I flick through those. And I pick just a few, which I think are decent. In fact, here, I think, looking at the bottom of the screen, I'll pick five. Five images, which I think are probably the best ones for match report stuff. So my criteria for that is normally, like, that they... Um, I try to get both teams in the image. So something that clearly shows which team they were playing against. Uh, I always get the ball in the image. I see so many football images without the ball in the picture. Uh, some of them work for various reasons, especially if it's, like, an emotion or a celebration, of course. But actual football action pictures... For for me, they just got to have the ball in the picture. I want to see faces. I want to see fronts of kits. I don't want to see the backs of people's heads and stuff like that. Um, obviously, I could talk all day on, on what makes a good image, but that just briefly for me is what makes the image. I've gone through. Uh, I've actually not one of them out, so I've only gone with four in the end. You can see four on the bottom of my screen there. Now, the the process here, now, what you're seeing me do here is trying to work out what was going on with the bloody Wi-Fi. Um, there were some issues with the Wi-Fi. That's why I was emailing the guy before, so, you know, I had some issues here. I normally would have these images probably sent by this stage, but I was having some real problems with them connecting, so so that's what was going on here, and they wouldn't upload onto my uh, onto my email for me to better send. The advantage I had here is it's not like I was trying to wire images live. Obviously, I'm shooting for the team. I am the official photographer, so the images come from me. Uh, there's not like competition there. It's not like I'm sending to a news desk or a picture desk or a paper where I've got to get them there quick or someone else is going to send the images and beat me and, and then I've got no job. Um, the images here are coming from me and the guys had already been flagged that there were some Wi-Fi problems. So, so it was all good. Uh, as much as it frustrated me, I wasn't panicking too much because we had the time. So I'm going through, and I'm sending them across. And these, like, four images are the ones which I send straight away now. And then later on when I get home, I'll go through and I'll edit the whole set, and I'll get a set probably... God, what's a set from a game? I probably normally from a from a game will get, like, 50 images, something like that, probably 60 maybe if it's a, a bigger one. Or I say that probably I've done up to, like, 80 before, or maybe even as low as 40. 
sometimes if the weather's horrible like pouring rain it's harder because the reality of it is you get less good quality images but generally speaking i'll get probably like 50 images something like that which i'll send across um later on either sometimes the same day or the next day it depends really on how busy i am what i got going on so here we go so those are the four images which i sent off uh you know what i'll do i'll actually i'll add the four images onto the end of the video so you guys can see the um the images which i sent I have to steal watermarks across them because for this league I'm not allowed to um, to put them online without big watermarks across them. So I'll do that for you guys so you can see where the um, where the where the images are. So yeah, this is the. Uh, I think actually I think I'm just relaxing now. So you guys have got a bit of dead footage here whilst I relax with my uh, with my coffee which I got on the go uh, and just chilling out. I think the email has already sent by this stage and I'm just uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I can't remember. Maybe just getting something together. So yeah, that's the process of me going through and um, and sending images. Uh, fairly straightforward. Like I said, I tried to do a bit of work during the game with locking the ones I want on the back of the camera so that this part doesn't take me too long, because otherwise the first ten fifteen minutes would me just uh, would be me just going through and uh, and picking which images to send, which wastes a load of time. That kind of is like half my workflow from when I'm wiring images live in the game, I suppose, which I've rolled into the process when I do this. Uh, this is me actually checking the website, and one of my images is already on there now with the match report, so they work fast once they get the images from me. Hey guys, um, I hope you can see me alright, the, the sun's quite, no, no, I think you're okay. Um, so yeah, on the way home, um, just sent the images, the... Um, they got there on time, okay, fortunately, so, yeah, the, the Wi-Fi was, was pretty bad, but it's, um, it's okay. Uh, they got there, the, the, the good thing is I'm not up against any competition, obviously, so, the, it's not like someone else is going to get the images there before me, which it would be if it was, like, a first-team game or something. But anyway, I hope that was interesting, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll do it again for another football game. That was obviously under 18, so it's a bit different because it's in the training ground. It's, it's kind of almost in like a glorified park, I suppose. So, um, but I'll try and do one. Um, I've got a couple of uh, I've got a couple of like Vanarama conference games soon, and I've got uh, a Fulham game at Craven Cottage actually. So, uh, I'll try and do one in a bit more of a kind of stadium environment. It might be a little bit different for you guys to see something like that as well. Uh, yeah, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was interesting. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you on the blog soon.